we're taking a trip to Denmark to reveal the winner of PC Game of the Year. Here's Rasmus Jensen, senior producer at IO Interactive, to deliver the news. Good to go to Denmark. I know. Hey everyone, I'm Rasmus Jensen, senior producer at IO Interactive. We were thrilled to pick up the Golden Joystick Award for PC Game of the Year at last year's show. And we are just as excited to be here to bestow the honor of another iconic PC game. At IO Interactive, we have always been fans of the PC platform as a vehicle to realize the intricate worlds of assassination we would like to build with the Hitman series. PC games are an important creative platform, and the sheer range of genres and concepts of this year's shortlist proves how exciting and diverse PC games can be. From heaven sent puzzle shooter to poetic pirate odysseys, there's something for everyone on this list, and every nominee is more than worthy for the top prize. This year's nominees are Lee and White, Return to Monkey Island, Hard Space Shipbreaker, Teardown. Total War Warhammer 3 Warhammer 40,000 Chaoscape Demon Hunter And the winner is Return to Monkey Island Hi, this is Ron Gilbert, creator of Monkey Island and co-designer and writer of Return to Monkey Island. Hey Golden Joysticks, I am Rex Crowell. I was art director on Return to Monkey Island. Hi, I'm Dave Grossman, co-designer and writer of Return to Monkey Island. I'd like to thank the fans for voting Return to Monkey Island the best new hardware of 2022. What? Oh, I'm sorry, best PC game of 2022. That makes a lot more sense. We are uh, thrilled and humbled and frankly a little gobsmacked that you have picked our game as PC Game of the Year. Thank you for voting for Return to Mikey Island. It means a lot to all of us. It's really special for us to win a golden joystick as these awards have been like, they've got as much history as Monkey Island themselves. Thank you uh, to the audience who uh, vote and ultimately make that choice. You know, you, you make a game like this and it's it's sort of like raising a child. You um, pour your heart and all your effort into it for years. And most of the time you're sort of not sure what you're doing. You're sure you're making a lot of mistakes and you just sort of do the best you can. And then eventually the day comes when you put it out into the world and you just hope that other people are gonna love it the way that you do. It's amazing after 35 years, Mike Allen still has the ability to entertain and enthrall the fans like it does. Selfishly, this is a game that I personally just wanted to play for 30 years. It takes a village, uh, so thank you to, uh, to Ron and Rex and uh, to all the people uh, who were working with, uh, with Terrible Toy Box. We're all working remotely all across the world, but everyone just came together and just created this, um, this fantastic unit. I wanted to thank Devolver for being an amazing publisher. And I also wanted to thank Craig Derrick and everybody at Lucasfilm Games for believing in us. And also thank everybody on the Terrible Toy Box team for being amazing artists and programmers and testers and sound people and music people. It was an amazing crew to work with. So in summary, thanks! Shout out to the mighty pirates at Terrible Toy Box for that well-earned win. 